Good afternoon folks. So what we're going to do in today's uh, video is a simple question here based on a wooden fence and it's actually based on the topic of inclined lines and inclined lines are lines that are drawn at an angle okay they are not perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal they are drawn at an angle and as we can see here some of the angle lines in this one are actually on the top of the kind of wooden fence post here okay so I'll just zoom in the drawing there so we can see it a little bit in uh, clearer it says here part of a wooden fence is shown here each of the vertical posts is built to the same dimensions reproduce the diagram to the given dimensions so we can see here okay we've obviously got three um three posts okay going from left to right one two three the gaps in between the actual posts are 100 millimeters okay you can see from here to here okay so what we would always do in one of these questions is and i always say it in class is work out the area that you have to fit the drawing with inside okay so i'm going to measure the overall distance going from left to right and then the overall height going from the bottom to the top so the overall height and the overall length now the overall length 20 plus 100 plus 20 plus 100 plus 20 adds up to 260 millimeters going from left to right 260 okay and the overall height 20 14 all the way up to the top here in this little point adds up to 110 when you add all of them together so straight away I need to make a box, okay, construction lines used, okay, 260 by 110. So that's what I'm going to start with there first. So pick an appropriate pos uh, position on your page, okay. So I want to keep it roughly in the center of my page, the drawing, so you can see my page here. I'm going to kind of come down below halfway to just about there and in a little bit from the left. That point right there is going to be my start point, okay. It's about... 110 millimeters up from the base of the page and it is 90 millimeters in okay so what I'm going to do starting off straight away I need to construct a line 260 millimeters long so if your set square doesn't reach that you can see here mine only goes out to the 19 so I'll mark to the 19 and I'll add on another 70 okay so extend it a little bit further there we go so from here to here is my 260 millimeters. What I'm going to do now is two vertical lines, one at either end, vertical line here. And then on the vertical lines, I'm going to measure a distance of 110, which is 11 centimeters. So mark up to the 11. After I've that done, project a horizontal line across, project the vertical line up, there we have it there is the box completed okay so just get that centered on the page there a little bit there we have it okay so now what I want to do is I want to put in all of my horizontal measurements so I have 20 120 120 so I'm gonna put all of those in so going along the bottom I'm gonna mark 20 millimeters then I'm gonna mark 100 so you can see I'm moving to zero onto the 20 point mark as far as the 10 mark the 20 if you wanted I know it's 100 next I could go to 120 I'll just stick with my zeros and there's another 100 so 20 120 120 all of those points are going to be vertical lines I'll go up to about here all the way to the top Okay, so what we've actually got in here on our page now is the three stanchions for our posts. Okay, post one, two, and three. Now what I need to do is I need to put in my vertical height. So I have 20, 14, 24, 14, 14, 10, and then 14. We'll worry about these little marks here, the fives at the end, okay? And we've also got a line going up here in the middle. I'll explain that in a while. But I'm starting off now by putting in all of these going, going upwards, and then I'm going to project the lines horizontally across. So starting off with my first one, using my T-square and set-square together, okay? If you wanted, you could do it like this, just make sure that your T-square or your set-square isn't askew. So I'm going to mark there, 20 millimeters. The next one is 14, so that brings us up to 34. And at this point then, if you're struggling with the mats, you can move it to zero up, and so on, okay? But I'm just, I'm okay with the mats, so I'm going to keep going. So 20 plus 14 is 34, plus 24 is 58. Make sure I get the right point. There we go. 58 then plus 14 is 72. 
and then 72 plus 14 is 86 and then 86 plus 10 is 96 and that leaves us 14 left over to 110 okay so with all of those I'm now going to project lines across now from this point right here this is for my first stanchion so I'm just going to mark lines in the middle like that okay that's kind of for the timber struts going across so as you can see I'm lining it up with the point here there is nothing wrong because this is a construction line I'm doing a line the whole way across but just for neatness I'm only doing them in here the next one is in here so I'm going to mark the next one and then finally this one okay so we've got our struts going across okay as you can see there we've got these guys now the next one up I'm actually closing off the first section okay of the fence right here here and here so I'm going to put that in now so the next one up it's actually closing off that there there and there okay now what we have to do is the top parts okay so from the outside part you can see here there's a little measurement there it's five millimeters I'm gonna to have to measure five in and five in so I assume it's the same the whole way along okay what's also important to note and I'll just zoom in on this in between the 20 I've got this line going up here so common sense will tell us that that is right in the middle of 20 so it's in 10 and if that goes all the way up top you can see it's a long dash short dash that line there is known as a center line it goes all the way to the top okay and at the top then that will actually help us identify this point right here okay what's also important to note is at our 10 millimeter mark that line going across gives us the points on the triangles here 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 and here okay so start putting in that information now as well and just zoom out there once again so I'm going to put in these lines going across as well And very important then I'm going to measure in the middle down here of the 20s I could also do it at the top absolutely fine I could just come up here and mark it as well but since I've done all my measurements at the bottom I'm just going to do it here now lined up with that just make a little mark up there same with this guy okay at that section up here I'm now going to do my inclined lines line like this and continue the process and there we have it there's our triangles top all we're missing is the little kind of um, section that attaches them here so if you remember there was a little five millimeter gap either side so mark five in and then mark five back do the exact same with the next one five in five back so marking in five and from 20 back five as well and then very quickly put in my struts okay and there you have it all we have to do now to complete the drawing is just heavy in. so I'm going to speed up that part of the video So there we have it folks, that there is the um, wooden fence question completed, I uh, hope you found that helpful, what you could do now at this stage is you could add obviously a little bit of shading or colour okay, to the fence, maybe putting in some uh, real life de details like a little bit of grass here, maybe some little kind of animals and creatures if you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more picturesque, hope you found that helpful, that's that question completed.